Thank you. I'm just the warm-up special guest because we have a specialer guest. But thank you, Tony. Thank you for all the work you do. Everyone, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your commitment to New York City. Thank you for your commitment to your fellow human beings in need, and standing up for them. This is really important. It's important to get out there and understand what is happening on our streets so we can best determine how to help people in need. And, you know, there is a certain amount of cynicism in this world, but I have to tell you, I wish all the people in New York City could see all of you here at 11.30 in the evening on a winter night in the snow, volunteering your time to go out and help people in need and help us figure out how we can better address the challenge of homelessness in this city. You represent something very good and very warm about the city of New York. So could we just, everyone, have a round of applause for all of you? I'll, I'll blow the cover of our special, special guest, the Federal Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Juli Development Julian Castro, is with us. And Mr. Secretary, I want you to know that behind our rough exteriors as New Yorkers beat hearts of gold. I hope you can see tonight. But uh, we were going to do the Hope Count a few weeks back. And instead, we got Winter Storm Jonas, which only you know, was this close to being the largest snowstorm in the history of the city. So everyone understands why we had to delay. Tonight, we have a little bit of snow to deal with, but nothing at all is bad. Again, thank you to everyone who's here. Also want to thank our Deputy Mayor for Health and Human Services, Herminia Palacio, our Commissioner for the Human Resources Administration, Steve Banks, our Commissioner for Veterans Affairs, Lori Sutton, the chair of the General Welfare Committee in the City Council, Steve Levin, and council members Rosie Mendez and Dan Gorodnik. Everyone joining with you in common cause because this is how we learn what is going on in the streets and we figure out the best way to support people. I just want to say this very quickly to you. We have an obligation as a city to address homelessness, homelessness in ways it's never been addressed before. This hope count will be the last one before the new Homestead approach comes into place. Now, we'll keep doing the home, excuse me, we'll keep doing the hope count every year. It's a, it's a federal mandate. It's something every city in the country does. But we're going to add to that now with Homestead. We're literally going to have city officials out every day, starting in March, constantly talking to people on the street to understand the best way to address their needs. Every single person you meet tonight, every person had a journey from a more normal life, a better life, to the streets. Every single person, we're going to find a pathway from the streets to a better life. We can do this. There is a pathway for each person. Everyone you meet tonight is an individual with their own story, their own humanity, their own history. We are going to better determine in the months to come the pathway back. And that's what the Homestead outreach effort is going to be all about. And one of the things we've known for many, many years about homelessness is we can't fully address it particularly the kind of homelessness you'll see on the street tonight. We can't fully address it if we don't have supportive housing, particularly for folks with mental health needs and substance abuse challenges. That's why this city is committed to building 15,000 supportive apartments, 15,000 apartments for people in need. And now the state of New York is matching us, and that's going to make a huge difference. We're creating safe haven beds, 500 safe haven beds, we're creating drop-in centers, all sorts of things that will give people those steps away from the streets, options that will help folks come off the streets into a safer environment and into long-term housing. You, many of you probably heard today that Secretary Castro and the Obama administration made a major new commitment, billions of dollars to help families in shelter. Let's applaud Secretary Castro for that. And Mr. Secretary, I'm sure you're seeing this all over the country, but one of the things that has been striking here in New York City is homelessness not so long ago we th thought of as first and foremost something that affected single adults, particularly men, and people overwhelmingly had substance abuse and mental health challenges, and that's still a real part of it, but what we see today in our shelters more and more is families, working families, 
people who literally get up in the morning, take their kids to school, go off to their job, and come home tonight and shelter. It's a whole new reality. I want to thank you and President Obama for focusing more and more on what we need to do to help those families and get them to a better life. That's what tonight is all about, getting the count right, understanding the problem, figuring out the pathway to a solution. With that, I'd like you to hear now from the guest of honor, and what an honor for us to have him with us here to inspire us and to lead us, Secretary Julian Castro. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. First of all, thank you, Mayor. It's great to be back here in uh, your beautiful city. It's wonderful to be here with all of you uh, who represent uh, the heart and soul of New York City, folks from across the city and the region. Um, on behalf of President and Mrs. Obama, thank you so much for being here and being part of the Hope Count. Uh, as the mayor said, uh, you know, when we think about the homeless, sometimes we have a stereotype in our mind of who is homeless. But I'm sure as many of y'all have seen, if you've volunteered at a shelter or a soup kitchen or a transitional living facility, um, or just from your everyday experiences here, you know that homelessness affects all different types of people. And oftentimes fa families find themselves homeless who never thought that they would be in that situation. And so the work that we're doing tonight is important in ensuring that we have a grasp of the challenge so that we can address it. I want to commend you, Mayor, as well as all of our city council members for dedicating resources to ensure that we can get to functional zero. In 2010, the president put forth a bold blueprint called Opening Doors. And what was special about it was that it was the first federal blueprint to say, we're not just going to reduce homelessness, we're going to end it. And that's what we've been working to do with all of our state and local partners. So between 2010 and 2015, we saw uh, an 11% overall reduction in homelessness, a 19% reduction in family and youth homelessness, and a 36% reduction in veteran homelessness. And that's because of the work of folks like you and so many volunteers and nonprofits and state and local governments and the private sector as well throughout the United States. And it all starts with a commitment and a vision. The president unveiled more of that vision today when he proposed, as the mayor mentioned, $11 billion over the next 10 years to fund 550,000 housing choice vouchers so that we can get to functional zero on family and youth homelessness in the United States. And just before I, I, I uh, leave you, I wanted to just read a portion of a letter that the President and First Lady sent to everyone who's participating in the point in time count. It says, the idea of home has been central to our country's character from its earliest days, and dedicated, passionate people like you, who take up the noble work of serving our most vulnerable, are helping make it a reality for all. Your commitment to putting comfort, opportunity, and security within the reach of those who need it most represents the best of America and will help us build a future free from the heartbreak of poverty. As you continue striving to ensure everyone has a safe and stable place to call home, we wish you the best and we thank you for your work. Thank you all very much. As the Secretary said, the City Council has been extraordinarily focused on addressing homelessness and making sure the resources, resources are there to really address the problem fundamentally. The Council has been passionate about that. It's my honor to introduce the Speaker of the New York City Council, Melissa Mark Viverito. Thank you. Um, I, I will be brief because much has been said. I'm, I'm joined here with my Council members, Steve Levin and, and Rosie Mendez and Dan Gorodnik that was here. Uh, I really want to thank Secretary for joining us tonight and this incredible announcement that has been made of these additional resources that are going to be coming to cities across the nation, but clearly here in New York, and the assistance that it will provide to provide to, to enable housing to be provided to the most vulnerable, right? Those are the individuals that we're going to encounter tonight, the most vulnerable who really truly need our help and our support. I also do want to say that as council members and as the legislative body for the city of New York, we work in partnership with the mayor. And I have to say personally, you know, what really has been bothering me a lot when we hear about the issue and the way it's covered in the press, it's dehumanizing. 
right, the way that the tabloids want to talk about homelessness. This is a structural problem that has existed for decades. And I have to say that I want to commend this administration, the mayor, the commissioner, all those involved, because really trying to look at structurally, how do we break this issue down? How do we get at the root causes of homelessness and really try to rectify it, right, and to, and to turn it around? That is an approach that has not happened. I've been now in office 10 years. That is not the approach of the prior administration. So as difficult as it is to turn that ship around, we have a commitment to make sure that we're getting at the root causes of homelessness, providing jobs and permanent housing, and the work of this administration at the federal level um, is also looking at that. So this additional resources that we hope to get in New York is really gonna help continue on that path. So personally, from the bottom of my heart, and I know my colleagues, we wanna thank each and every one of you that are here. Because you are here as a volunteer, you are here because you care, you are here because this is our New York, and we're gonna work together right, to address this issue. And th your participation tonight is critical. So thank you all very much. Um, it really means a lot to me and to the council, and we look forward to continuing to work on that path to ensure that every single person is housed in the city of New York. It is a long-term goal, but we can get there if we really put our mind to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, someone who's been working on this issue for many years at the grassroots, and she feels it deeply, the borough president of Manhattan, Gail Brewer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, it's exciting to have the wonderful uh, HUD commissioner here, and I want to thank Tony Baez and my friend Susan Nayworth, who were the two site captains. Um, there's a one fun aspect to all of this, which is I did the 2003, which was the very first. Uh, and I know that the friends that I spent that time with that night are still my friends. And I had never met them before. I had no idea that I would have to ask somebody coming out of a limousine if he or she was homeless, and I was mortified. That's part of the statistically significant effort. It was horrible. So whoever has that uh, job in your tour, I feel sorry for you. It, but you will learn more importantly, uh, what good friendship is and also some of the issues that people deal with on the street. I've done that obviously as part of outreach teams in the last couple of weeks, but doing it with colleagues who care as much as you do is really, really important. So I want to say thank you. And I also want to thank the mayor just as the speaker did because the issue has always been how are we going to find the appropriate housing, how are we going to find shelters that people want to go into, et cetera. And this administration, under the very able leadership of the very awesome Steve Banks, let's give him a round of applause, <laughs> is really trying to figure that out, whether it's for veterans or families or individuals. And having been around for a very long time, I know that this problem will be get addressed adequately and successfully in this administration between the safe haven beds, the supportive housing, the wonderful effort of the federal government and the city council. So congratulations for being here. Say hi to Tilly if you run into her because she's not really homeless, I will tell you. I know her well, she'll be out there. She's my friend, she likes to pretend. Have a great evening, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Gail. All right, everyone. Get out there and do a lot of good tonight, and Godspeed. Thank you so much.